Hello everybody and welcome back to Persona 5. In this episode we finally get to see that Futaba has finally up and around and has recovered. So we actually get to learn more about her um, and she gets to talk to us about um, how she's feeling and tells us a little bit of insight. Um, with that also being said, we also get to start one of my personal favorite parts. While well, it's not another palace of course, um, it is the uh, summer vacation or school trip for this epi or for this series, I should say. Um, Persona games always seem to build in a moment um, where they, where the kids or the students go on a school trip, and in this one, they go to a beach. They actually go to Hawaii, uh, and I think that that scene is just a really wholesome and cute and fun scene um, to see and to watch. So. That will start in this episode and will end in the next episode. Uh, but, of course, I'll stop talking and we'll get into it. And then I will see y'all at the end of the video. Make some dang log pigs. Man, it's hot. Yeah, we only have five days until we need to stop midget. So we'll probably we'll get to that tonight. Okay. Ugh, I need liquid mer mercury. Dang. Well, till then, five yeah. more optics. Yes. Yeah. Depending what's going on, I kind of want to work on my. Well then. I want to work on my guts one night, and I also want to work on my kindness. Four more days, right? What's going to happen? Phantom Thieves will do something about it. Will the Phantom Thieves do something about it? Can they really? We don't even know who they are. It's probably impossible. We need some sort of miracle. If they could do something about it, they'd be gods. We kind of are. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're gonna hold off on talking to them for right now. Tanaki, Yusuke, Aon, and Aon, and Ryuji. Okay, for now... We'll go here, we're gonna see if they have any new weapons really fast. If not... Oh my gosh, I have so much money. Right. Sounds good. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything new. Okay. Alright, which one? Uh, come again. Oh, I do I should sell. Hmm. Alright. I guess that's fine. Uh, come again. And then we should also go to here. We can sell all that city armor. It just keeps getting hotter. And then we'll go talk to Justine and Caroline. Welcome! I like to keep one just in case it ends up being something kind of unique. So I like to try to keep one of everything, and I'll eventually get around to watching it. Cool. Do another red bag. Too bad. Okay, let's go talk to the twins. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
myself. Can I not talk? Okay. I guess I can't talk to them here. Oh, I guess I just can't talk to them in general. Ugh, that was kind of a waste of my money, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, what? How can I increase my kindness? Guts, knowledge, charm. We'll see this movie. Well, it's the same movie, but it's still lame as are out, but we'll see it again. Um because I still need more kindness. It was him! He stole the silverware! He even stole the candlesticks! <laughs> Alright. So good, we finally uh, we finally got our kindness up. Jeez. Yeah, empathetic. Um, I skipped that because I watched that already right. different in my last episode, so if you'd like to see that, you can go look at that episode. Just a few degrees cooler would do it. Dude, we're really running out of time here. People are getting more restless online too. Are we done for if we lose here? I don't even want to think about that possibility right now. Indeed, those who once revered us or as hero or revered or revered us as heroes now see us seem to revile us. Calm down, guys. He's right. Sorry for messaging you all about such weird stuff. It's okay. We all feel the same way. I'll try and make sure I don't blow my cover, as should we all. Sounds like everyone's starting to get anxious. But considering how fast the days are closing in, the best thing we can do for now is stay calm. Akiyama-kun? I have a lot to report about Akiyama-kun. Kun, you might get a little spooky when you hear it. It's gonna be long. Wanna meet up? Decide later. Gonna, yes. Oh. Yes. We're anytime we can talk to Kawakami, we're going to. Um. Yeah. Hey. Okay. We're still gonna call her over. Then I'll head over. Uh. We'll try to talk to Mishima the next day. She seems happy that I requested her. Is it my imagination, or does she look tired? I feel like my bond will grow with her I'll soon. I'll see you later then. So we hopefully should be able to get her bond up this weekend, like on Friday, because she works on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay, is Mishima around? It doesn't look like anybody's around. Yeah, nobody's around, okay. Okay, cool. They're talking about the same stuff we've talked about before. Whale. This could be the big burger challenge then. We haven't done that in a while, and hopefully my gut should improve. Take challenge. Yeah. God, that costs a lot more in the daytime, but that's okay. Thank you very much. Now then. Okay, there we go. All that's been read before. This is a tough battle. Don't get too hasty. Just work it at your own pace and you'll do it. <sighs> I've somehow ate the whole thing. Oh. You, you've done it again. Congratulations. Congrats on completing this challenge. Since you managed to crush the gravity burger, I present with you the first mate badge. And this burger baron who def and to the burger baron who defeated this challenge, we present to you our world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoy the taste of victory. Enjoy your new rank as first mate. However, our mission Please still remains. Again. I look forward to your next attempt at our challenge. 
Nice. I knew you could do it. <laughs> cool. And then I got some good wake up. Wake up. Nice. I'm not to push that yet, though. Ooh, I'm just getting it in all of them. Except for Kyrie. head back? <laughs> okay, if Mishima is available tonight, we will talk to him this evening. Uh, you're back. Nope. Sojiro. Yeah, let's go talk to Mishima. I don't know why he hangs out out here though. Hi. Fan of these are practically unstoppable. Everyone likes you guys. <laughs> as do I, of course. Uh, so you did the request as I asked. Oh, I was hoping we could talk about uh, Akai Akayama. Are you free right now? Yes. Hang out with him. <laughs> so talk at the diner. I'll probably surprise you if we talk some more over there. So why is he not at the diner normally? Like, why is he out at the red light district? <sighs> so you remember those guys who beat up uh, Akayama kun up? Well, it turns out they really were dangerous. I looked them up and they found some s and found some seriously scary info. Apparently, they're part of a gang that's involved in extortion stuff like that all the time. I wish I had known that going in, one slip of the tongue in the act I pulled and I would have been dead. You showed some real courage. Hmm? Do you really think so? But I pissed all over myself again while I was researching those guys. Oh, Mishima. Honestly, though, you're amazing. You weren't afraid in the slightest. Maybe it's only natural after all the nightmares you've been through. Yo, Mishima. Hey. Hey there. Whoa, it is, really is Mishima. Dude, right? Nobody else could be this boring. Hey, you figured out what you're gonna do after high school? It's just... Um, not yet. How about the military? Nobody ever notices you're like you stealthing around. <laughs> Too true. I bet you could sneak in anywhere, huh? You'd be Japan's ultimate weapon. Shut up. Akiyama-kun. Huh? Something wrong? Yeah, not exactly. Come on, let's just forget him. It's no fun messing with Mishima anymore. What do you mean, no fun? You're always the one screwing with him the most. I don't know, I guess I got tired of it. Hey, about before, I've been thinking. Well, I should probably thank you. Huh? Something happened with you two? You know you have been acting weird lately, Akiyama. Don't think I haven't noticed all the bruises you got. I... No, no. Um, before? I don't know what you're really- I really don't know what you're talking about. Mishima. My bad, guess it was someone else. You've changed, though. Hmm? hmm? Your glasses. I always see you two hanging- I always see you two together. You've been coaching him? Something like that. <laughs> That's so. I'm kind of jealous. You know, you see you later. Wait up, Akiyama. I know I say his name differently every time. <laughs> Looks like Akiyama-kun's gonna be just fine. He's a pretty strong old guy. And I really have changed, huh? Do you think maybe now I'm starting to be like the Phantom right. Thieves? I'm gonna work even harder now to make sure I live up to your legacy. Mishima is showing passionate resolve. Okay, I'm really close on right. Mishima and on Yoshizawa. So Any time I can hang out with them would be nice. And then I can probably be done with them, to be honest. Okay, so we started writing a documentary about Phantom Thieves. The research I did on the gang Akiyama Kun was wrapped up was up in was actually what pushed me to do it. And now I'm basically putting together a massive log of all your activities from the fan site. Can't wait to watch it. <laughs> That's some serious pressure, but I'll show you what I can do. I mean, I won a composition contest back in fifth grade, so this shouldn't be any more difficult, right? All right. At any rate, we should celebrate today. My treat. Screw the fountain drinks. Let's get. Sh let's go straight for the fancy fruit juice. It's three times the price, so it's gotta be three times better. 
parfait. I don't know if that's more expensive or less expensive, but... But I only have so much money. If you want to order something else, it'll have to come out of your own pocket, okay? Anyways, let's party until we have to go catch the last train. <laughs> Woo! Oh, See so you cute. later. He's, he's, such, he's just so wholesome, and I kind of feel bad for him, but I like him. Ooh, what is up? He's still rocking into the night? Uh, sorry, I don't know what- I don't know the right thing to say after coming home from a party, eh? <laughs> but that was so fun, right? I've never stayed that late at a diner before. You think it's just the power of the fancy fruit juice? I mean, it did cost three times the usual price. Okay, I'll stop joking around. I think I- I think I'm just really happy to hear one comment from Akiyama-kun. You heard what he said about me. But do you really think some part of me's changed? The sparkle in your eyes. Wait, really? You mean I actually look confident now? Eh, gosh. Man, you're gonna make me blush, but thank you. That documentary I mentioned, starting today I'm going to start writing it seriously. And once it's finished, I want you to be the first one to read the script. It's our promise. A vow between men. Okay? See you. Yoshizawa. Some high do you have some training some free time today for training? Okay. Again, all they're all kind of similar in the beginning, so I don't I'm kind of st stopped reading them for right now. Um, probably didn't expect to be meeting me at the batting center, huh? Surprise, yeah. I thought so, but I'm glad you decided to humor me. Batting helps train your reflexes in dynamic vision. It also strengthens your stance, and really, those are important elements in gymnastics, too. It all sounds pretty plausible, right? Actually, I just wanted to come here. Honestly, I wanted to, you to see me hit a home run. It seems kind of sudden. Um. I remembered something from when I was little. My father used to take me to the bat in cages a lot. The other kids were scared of getting hit by the baseballs, but I just loved swinging the bat around. Every time I hit one, I kept thinking, it doesn't matter how fast they are, I'll slam it into orbit. I thought if I tried to put myself back in that headspace, I could get some ideas on how to get my boldness back. What do you think? That could work, right? It's a good idea. It is a good idea, yes. actually. Right? I think it'll really help. My turn. Next up to the plate, Kasumi Yoshizawa. Here I go. Now, come on. <laughs> Were they always this fast? I'll get the next one. It's the next one that counts. Okay, no more warm ups. For now, it's gonna be 100% home runs. Eep. What the? I'm sorry. I knew I was rusty, but I didn't expect to miss all of them. I never see the ball coming, and I keep flinching. I didn't think my slump was hitting me this hard. Don't give up yet. Senpai, you're right. I'll give it one more shot. Stay calm. Don't be scared. Eyes on the ball. My turn. Here I go. Come on. Uh. What? I did, did it. it! I did it, Senpai! I hit the ball! Congratulations! I've never done it without your encouragement, Senpai. Up until now, I've only been working for myself. I was so desperate to make a good impression. But since I started hanging out with you, Senpai, I started feeling like I wanted to live up to your expectations, and that feeling helped me feel so much stronger. I've forgotten how it felt, felt to, work on that, to work that hard on someone else's behalf. Don't forget how that feels. Yes! Right, of course. Ever since I met you, Senpai, I've been discovering so many things about myself, but now I feel like I'm closer than ever to getting my confidence back. Please, listen oh, to right. me! I've been feeling a lot more limber and energized lately, too. I'm not going back to normal yet, but even my grades have been going back up. Nicely done. Thank you very much! Yeah, I still need to show you what I can do. Next time, you won't have to watch me fumbling with a bat. I'll show you an all-new, full-power gymnastics routine. I can sense Kasumi's intense trust in me. 
I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast birthed a bond clad in the heart's strength. This union, born and embraced by will unyielding, shall become the balefire that lights thy path. Thou hast gained a glimpse of the faith's truth, granting thee further power to tread the abyss. Interesting. All right. Your faith confidant has reached to max. You will now earn more EXP from Ar Arcana Burst when fusing personas of the Faith Arcana. Anyways, you still got a lot to hit. I think it's your turn, Senpai. Give it all give it it all the guts you've got. Smash it into outer space. I sweated it out in a batting session with Kasumi. Oh sorry, I need to get going. Good effort! Oh, Senpai, thank you so much for coming with me today. I haven't swung a bat in a while. My arms still feel kind of weird. I was just kind of hoping to knock it out with a playing, but I'm happy I managed to hit the ball. It was nice to dip into sports aside from gymnastics. Was there anything else you wanted to try, Senpai? Gymnastics. <laughs> Wait, really? I'm so happy that you're interested in gymnastics. Men's rhythmic gymnastics actually originated in Japan. You need a ton of power and speed to compete in those. But I'd say you have the potential to do well in it. I'd love to see you try some acrobatic moves. Um, I have a request for you. May I ask you to join me for more things from now on? When I'm with you, I just feel so much more capable. Whether you want to go train again or just hang out and chat, please reach out whenever. Okay, I'll let you go. Rain, huh? Yep, we were gonna call you anyways. Oh! Call Tommy. Hi! Okay. Today I have a special item on the menu just for Master. Would you like that for 5,000 yen? Yes. Hey! Thanks for always requesting me. Well, then please wait for me till I get there. Yeah, she's feeling bad. Like, she keeps coughing. Listen. Hey, you know how you listened to my story the other day? You listened to my secret? I've been feeling more at ease since then. I've never been able to tell anyone about it, so I figured I should actually do some housekeeping today to, today to say thanks. <sighs> Sorry, I need to take a break. Want to rest a bit? I'm so touched to hear that you care for my well-being, Master. Ugh. My mental limit. So exhausted. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, she's sick or something. I'm beat. I can't stop coughing. Have you seen a doctor? I'd like to, but... I don't have the money to cover the cost of a medical exam. Huh, just kidding. I just wanted to slack off a bit. I mean, there's nothing left for me to hide from you so the truth comes out, you know? Now that I think about it, I'm glad you're the one who found out about me being a maid. Are you going to be alright in this dusty room? Have you been eating well? You need to eat fresh vegetables and none of that instant stuff. Vitamins are super important. You're going to turn out like me if you don't take care of yourself. <sighs> but if she get more sleep, I feel all achy. Takei's coon's guardian said they need more money, so I had my boss give me more shifts, so I had to beg him for them, but... Are you okay? Oh, it's fine. Nothing you should Besides, worry about. I'm, I feel more uh... at ease now that I have someone who knows what I'm going through. I'm talking about you. I feel Kyle Kami's trust me strengthening. All right. Well, I got more housekeeping abilities from her. Uh oh, time's up. To get to my next shop, so I'm going to head out. So I'll just keep calling her. I'll see you later then. Thank you for using our service. Oh, is this master? Thank you for using our service today. So I guess it's a good thing I splurged at the doctor's. I probably got some cough medicine that works. Hey, you go you gotta do some cleaning and ventilating on your own, even when I'm gone, okay? If you neglect stuff like that, it makes you more likely to get sick. How are you feeling, though? 
Who, me? I mean, I'm tired, but that's nothing new. Wait a minute, we're supposed to be talking about you. Don't change the subject. Oh, but if you do get sick, I'll look after you anytime. So please don't forget to request me. Ugh, finally get, I, I finally get rid of the cough, and now I get these headaches and shivers. Times like this are when we invented energy drinks. I just gotta chug one and push through. Okay, see you later. Okay, a couple days left until... No, we'll go see. Ooh, who's this? Yeah, we'll go see Koto today. Well, all we can do now is wait. Um, about that trip to the red light district. Do you have time today? Go to train then. Okay, bye, Mona. Hmm. There's so many people here. I guess this is really the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently, this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cameras. I heard there were quite a few brothels as well. They're very well informed. <laughs> yes. Well, I heard a great deal about it from my father. This is the first time I've actually been here myself, though. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that. But it was mainly thanks to the police efforts to clean up the area. But... Even so, there is no way to entirely eradicate crime entirely. There is no way to eradicate crime entirely. It seems the operation nowadays are only better hidden. Shall we go? Anyway, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. At Makoto's request, we, we walk separately through Shinjuku. Countless men tried to start conversations with her. Did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must have been a scout for our hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted to was to ask if any Shujin students worked there, but he nearly dragged me inside with him. If he hadn't been there rescuing me, I... That was dangerous. Yes. For him, maybe. I thought I was going to have to knock him out. Glad nobody had to get hurt, though. Hmm, I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very much. Oh, and thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you someday. I can sense a quiet resolve from Makoto. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, I All have right. not worked on her very much, and I should probably do that some more. <sighs> that aside, even though this is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here, and definitely no Shujin students, though... I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. Well then... Hmm? <laughs> that was... Did you notice this? I used to be in the same class as her. But why is she here? The after school salon? What kind of place is that? I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there too at my, as my witness. Would that be okay? Well, we spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. All right then. Thank you for today. Hey, um, I want to thank you again for tagging along today. It was the first time I've had to deal with a Barker. I don't know they could, didn't know they could be that persistent. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> Honestly, I've realized I can't solve these problems on my own. It took whatever happened today to make that clear. I also plan on looking into that Shujin student we saw there. It'd be great if you could help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. You made a promise with Futaba, right? I'm sure she'll pull through. How is Futaba? I haven't heard anything. Dude, this ain't just some normal oversleeping stuff. Our deadline's tomorrow. If Futaba, if Futaba's not up by then, 
Did she really do anything even if she does wake up? Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. That's right. Yeah. She, if she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? Hmm? Dreams are said to be the sort of memories, after all. Sorting of memories, after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? Do you think she's really facing all that shit right now? If that is the case, she would probably need a great amount of more time to do so. But considering how she had us wrapped around her finger, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. I believe in Futaba. Yes, indeed. Well, just give us a ring of anything changes. We're counting on you. I have to agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out? Um, really quick, I'm gonna check my confidant levels. I wanna look at so catchy is three. She's one. It's not really deep in yet, but I want to do it. As much as I should have then probably gone and over. hung out with Akechi or with the Shogi player. I, I, she has something that I know she has something that I want, and that just requires me to keep ranking her up. Kamakami seems happy that I requested her. Oops, I didn't see what that said. Maybe there's a way Kamakami has a good time. Maybe I have something she likes that will improve her life. present for me? Thank you, it's nice of you to add in a bit of fun in my life. Feels like I touched your heart a little. I'll see you later then. Tomorrow's the day, isn't it? The Phantom Thieves even going to do anything? Hey, what are we gonna do? I should never have trusted the Phantom Thieves. What's gonna happen tomorrow? Okay, we'll see what happens. Today is supposedly supposed to be the day Medjet's attacking, right? I guess there's nothing the Phantom Thieves could do. Medjet must have been too much for them. Stock prices are plummeting again. Maybe Medjet Shrugal was. Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Futaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. How's Futaba? Same as always. Today is the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Taba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. Doesn't just go with the flow, either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? That reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. And, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death as suicide. And I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. 
It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... <sighs> that's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. She went through such horrible things. And those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? I don't know. Of course. Uh, sorry. Futaba? No, oh, she's out of the house. It's cold. <laughs> uh, uh huh? You can't sell this. No, no, never mind that. How did you get here? Uh, I walked. You're okay? Was that bad? Th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> it's all right. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Majid. Oh, that's it. <laughs> she sounds so calm Let's about it. Let's take care of it now. Come. Apparently some ATMs aren't working. I heard someone's tampering with the system. Is it Majid? No, it couldn't be. What are the police doing? They're so incompetent. Even the Phantom Thieves couldn't stop them. my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? It's up to you. Roger that. Hey Futaba, we don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? Is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream! Get up! Say something! I'll explain later. <laughs> right. Now hurry it up! Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Futaba! <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Utaba, you should really clean your room a bit. Huh. She's not listening. Oh well. Just waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. Whew. It looks a little better now, don't you think? Well, Futaba, we're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. <sighs> I'm done! Uh, what's up? Something happened? It's finished. Finished? What is? It's so clean. Why? We cleaned it. Anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjed? I handled them, and someone else handled my room. I don't <laughs> understand, but this is good. Futaba? <laughs> hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <sighs> She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep, too.
I heard the bank servers got taken over. That has to be fake, right? There's no way. I'm scared. What's gonna happen? Are the police taking action? They're ignoring it? Seriously? Still, I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. So, Futaba's awake. Awesome. And has Medjib been taken care of? Uh, more importantly, how's Futaba doing? She's back asleep. Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say I blame her at all. If medjid has been affected, it surely will make the news. That should be enough to confirm whether or not the deed's been done. Then why don't we all go watch the news together? Yes, we should meet up at LeBlanc as usual. See you tomorrow, guys. We should be in the clear now, right? Hopefully. I don't know, maybe it's better if we stayed in today. Pretty fun once you get started, huh? There's a lot to know and enjoy about coffee. Well, I'm headed out to buy cigarettes. Yes, all right. <laughs> this is Mocha Matari. Let me explain. Mocha is a port town in the Republic of Yemen where both Yemeni coffee and Ethiopian mocha harar are exported, which he already told us about that. Mocha Matari has a complex spicy and chocolate flavor profile with a heavy, whiny body to it co to complement it. <laughs> yeah. Delicious. I'm impressed, although you'll never catch up to me. <sighs> Maybe it's fate that I'm drinking your coffee here like this. That'd be pretty cool, huh? You know, you remind me of me when I was in training. We'll do one more day. What's this? Are you serious? No way, I can't believe it. This isn't a joke, is it? They lost? How could this happen? They're talking about Medjed. Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. <laughs> Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah! <laughs> yes! What are you all smirking about? Nothing. Well, stop it. You're gonna drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation, too. Oh, crap. I just realized our break's almost over. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me, too. Like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. 
The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Matarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? The true criminal. How self-centered of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. I feel like my bomb would say is growing deeper. All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? To think, the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, Abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? She is quite difficult. That smell. Come on, no fair. 
Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the Hacker of Justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. <laughs> I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. <laughs> what should we do? Get to know her. How? First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach! There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. That's a great idea! I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Good luck. <laughs> Why me? Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Mejed was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Hey, I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I've heard things too, it's becoming a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from a medjet attack would have been massive. It's no surprise they revere us from preventing it. Good to hear. Yeah, it, it's really all thanks to the Alibaba. You were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, that reminds me. 
Remember that stuff about the 18 years of Mengshu stopping? That wasn't Medjed, was it? Nope, that was totally separate. So people were overreacting to mere coincidence? Either that or those rumors were never true to begin with. Hmm, you seem to be quite the talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. <laughs> I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. Oh, You gotta apologize, Yusuke. Me? Why? Hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. <sighs> Training for Taba is going to be a lot of work, more than stealing someone's heart. Now that my, now that's my Phantom Thieves. I knew they'd pull it off. This definitely proves the just the justice of the Phantom Thieves. You may be right. Right? It feels great. Even the guys who have been criticizing the Phantom Thieves basically have to accept them now. The news has been spreading like wildfire too. I'll give it an extra boost on the site as well. I bet their approval rating will be through the roof tomorrow. Look forward to it. Why is he of all people getting excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. For a quick rundown, we went through the fourth palace. We have Futaba. We're gonna we need to spend we're gonna go to the beach with her, I think is my understanding from what happened last night. Um and yeah, and we got our target for we in the like, present time would say we talked about the fifth target, which I don't remember his name off the top of my head. But that is something that we talked about, and so now we're just kind of buying our time until then. Let's see, who can we talk to? Oh, I might go talk to her. Yeah, we're gonna go talk to the shogi player. I kinda wanna see what she- I feel like she can do some good for us. <sighs> it's hot outside, but I'm clear-headed since it's so cool in here. Do you remember our promise? You be you become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. In order to do so, I would like you to start off by learning the basis of shogi. Would you like to play a match? Yes. I look forward oh. to it. There you go. Okay, Mona's gonna go leave us. I'll start. Vanguard of my Togo Kingdom. Go forth to the front lines. Trample upon them all. Do you think you think to protect yourself with that paltry defense? <laughs> Useless. Awaken, dragon. Let your shadowy hellfire consume them all. Dark Inferno Rook. So, is this like chess? I don't know anything about Shogi, but... Can you hear them? The wailing of dying soldiers echoing throughout the battlefield? With an incompetent king, a soldier cannot show his true bravery. Time for you to suffer. Oh, aggressive. At least everything... At last, everything is in place. My right hand trembles as I release my full power. Check. I summon forth the forbidden move that shall bring you your end, ultimate Excalibur attack. So yeah, it's kind of, it seems like it's kind of like chess or something, but not quite. Check. Ah, <sighs> uh, I did it again. It's an embarrassing habit I have. During a match, I am, um, I tend to get very aggressive. It's as if I assume the role of a queen in a kingdom. I like the attitude change. Huh? I find it myself... I find it... I myself find it a bit... My father had me do an image training exercise... My father had me do image training exercises when I was younger to help me learn the rules. I gradually began to view the shogi board as if it were my own kingdom. I had fun coming up with stories and strategies for my own subjects. However, I've heard that the people make fun of me on the internet. People think I'm weird or that I'm an otaku or that I'm just crazy. I mean, I can't blame them. Certainly, I think I'm weird too. Have confidence in yourself. Yes. Your positivity is a welcome relief. I may be able to learn more from our matches than I thought. I sense a deep trust from her. Alright. That will do for today. Oh, 
Oh, there's something I want to mention. Do you, do you read weekly magazines? Um, well, I'm doing a photo shoot for one. When is it coming out? Why do you ask? Regardless, they haven't decided on a date yet, so... I thought you'd be surprised if you saw it on the newsstand, so I wanted to let you know beforehand. In all honesty, I'm very reluctant to do it. But if I can draw more attention to Shogi, maybe the sport will become more popular. At least that's how I'm justifying it to myself. I have an interview scheduled for tonight as well, so let's end it for here for today. Ooh, I get knowledge from doing that, though. Until next time. Hmm, it's been a while since we've talked to them like this. Master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. Who stole the research? <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. I feel like he didn't give me anything. <laughs> Ooh, that was a big jump. I knew the fan thieves would pull through. Can you believe they actually took down those hackers? It's cool that they don't reveal what they're doing. Who's that guy that was criticizing them? A catchy? It's pretty lame to, to just criticize them without doing anything yourself. Oof. Okay. Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for, for today, huh? I haven't seen them. What happened to them? Futawa, can you open up? Open what? The front door? Why? Won't you come too? We're in front of Futaba's house. You want to meet here and not at LeBlanc? Isn't that more comforting? You never mentioned this. It would be nice if you could hurry down soon. It's scorching hot out here. You demon. Um... Looks like we're meeting up immediately over at Futaba's. Makoto's really going about this seriously. Oh. What is that supposed to be? Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. You seem confident. Yes. You must be well-versed in speaking when you are student council president. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. Uh... Let's try a different topic. How about the weather? I heard that this heat wave is showing no sign what of stopping. What is Yusuke doing in the background? You know, I haven't been out. Oh, right. 
Makoto's getting overwhelmed. Th this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. <laughs> Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. <laughs> <laughs> M my children! Wh what have you done to my children? They appear to be quite shoddily made. They're from Phoenix Ranger's Neo Featherman! No! Yellow and pink's heads! And red's been hacked to bits! This is all Inari's fault! Inari? You know! Inari Sushi? The Tobu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh, they were in the perfect poses, too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Uh, how dare you say that to me? Of all people! <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. <laughs> it's a full-blown argument. Yeah. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Mm-hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. Yes. Oh, sorry, you scared. She hasn't had many chances to button. leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! We'll all be there. Don't... Uh, I'm just gonna say, don't worry. Oh, uh, okay. I've left Tamara to An and Ryuji. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Can I wear my mask? I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Not bad for her first time. She's still got a long way to go, though. I wonder how long before she's ready for the beach. Dude, people are so pumped. They're talking all about how the Phantom Thieves took down Medjed. Mishima's website has a shit ton of comments flooding in, too. The news coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yes, they've only spoken of the Phantom Thieves for their entirety of today. We've been getting attention all over the city. So, how's the one who helped us take Medjed down doing? Futaba Chan. My Phoenix Rangers almost met their demise. <laughs> we just talked. Anyway, things didn't go perfectly, but it definitely is, it's but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend some time in someone else's room. Futaba is a dif difficult person to handle. Good luck, you two. Shut it, Inari. All right, it's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. We have so much to talk about. Ooh, I can't wait. Lady On and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me. But, I guess we'll see what they can do. Okay. Why do I not know who this is?
way too hot. Why did I walk away from it? Anyways, we're gonna try this again. I really want to get to level four guts. Um, I'm gonna skip ahead just a little because I want to talk to the airsoft shop guy. Thank you very much. Oh, it got bigger. <laughs> now then. Um. To be fair, I haven't done this in a while, so maybe I can do this, because I have leveled up a couple times. All this meat makes sense for challenges of such cosmic now. proportions. Oh, no, I didn't man. do it. Oh, it didn't work out. You had a ton of energy at the start, though. I guess it'll take quite a bit more courage to tackle the challenge. Okay, so I need more knowledge and more guts. Yep. <laughs> Wanna head back? Uh, well, it was worth a shot. Hmm, huh. you seem surprisingly calm. I thought you'd be more panicked. There are no customers. Yo! We're here! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry we're late. We were out buying stuff, and I got a little caught up in what to get. So many snacks. What exactly do you plan on doing? Well, summer vacation's the time when you lounge around in your room all day. Yeah, and eating snacks is the best part of that. You're gonna get fat, you know. Uh, shut it! Rude. Hey, where's Futaba? You have done well in coming here. <laughs> Shit freaked me out! Oh, hey, you Futaba? Yep, welcome. Why are you wearing that? Have it. Anyway, bring it. Not sure I get it, but let's do this. Sheesh, looks like today is going to be another noisy day. For real, it was freaking amazing. There were girls all over me. Wait, you don't believe a word I'm saying, do ya? Uh, it's you we're talking about here. There's no way you were ever a chick magnet. What was that? Agreed. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. Plus, popular guys wouldn't go bragging about that stuff to other people. I keep wondering if I should do it while I'm still young. But the dresses show a lot of skin, right? Hey, are you even listening? There's no point talking about wedding dresses right now. None of us have significant others. Yep, I'm not getting married anytime soon. Can we please talk about something else? <laughs> you know, Futaba's fine having conversations. Yeah, she doesn't have any trouble speaking her mind. Seems totally normal to me. I don't know what normal is, but if this is it, I'm happy. I totally thought you were gonna be some weirdo, but <laughs> I guess all that worrying was for nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm relieved, too. I think things should keep going smoothly at this rate. But how about we have her try helping around the cafe? Sorry, I was cleaning my It'll be good practice PlayStation to have her up in front of strangers. I pushed it by accident. Eep! Nope, nope, nope. Showing up in the shop at lunchtime will be like super crushing hard mode. You don't have to deal with customers if you don't want to. Maybe you could dry plates in the back. I'll be there too. I'd be mad if you weren't. Then it's all set. We'll be rooting for you, Futaba. Uh, you're all gonna pay for this someday. <laughs> Did the Phantom Thieves start all the scandals, too? No, I don't think the, they had calling cards. You know, like, changing people's hearts from the shadows? Is it just me, or have there been more posts from foreigners lately? Maybe I should make a request on that forum, too. Our popularity is through the roof. You guys gotta hear this. This cute chick said she wants to go out with a Phantom Thief. But not you specifically, huh? Not surprised. As a member of the opposite sex, I sense no charm from you, Ryuji. 
You don't gotta say it over text, too. What in the world were you all doing today? Girl talk at LeBlanc. Uh, more like chatting and snacking, really. So she's completed her objective for the day. Next up is practice. Next up is practice going out in front of people. Wait, what? He'll be fine. He'll, uh, he will be with you the whole time. We want to ease you into it, so your first test will be helping out a LeBlanc. Only he will be with you tomorrow. Good luck. You got it. Thanks for the help. We're gonna make an effort tomorrow. Okay. She seems to be opening up a little. Maybe we're finally inching our way to the beach. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Becky, which is uh, Kawakami. It's so hot. Your house doesn't have air conditioning, does it? Oh well, I'll endure if you're going to request me. Yeah, for five thousand dollars. Hey. Then I'll head over. Oh. She seems happy that I requested her. Is it my imagination or does she not look well? I feel like my bomb will grow stronger soon. I'll see you later then. When does school start again? I'm gonna check the calendar when I get a sec. Well then. Today's the day we're having Futaba try and help out the cafe, right? This will be stressful turn this will be a stressful turn of events. Do you want me to let Futaba help out around the shop? But I've never had her do anything like that before. Is she gonna be okay? This isn't the same as taking care of a cat, you know. Don't worry. I did graduate middle school last year. I'll be fine if I just think of this as my first summer job of high school. Well, in that case, uh, how about you wash the dishes? Just don't push yourself too hard, okay? <laughs> hey, are you all right? The usual boss, extra strong. It's your thing. Keep an eye on Futaba for me. You okay? Wee wee! <laughs> <laughs> she a new part timer. Man, smooth as always. What number Bond girl is this, boss? It's not like that. You usually go for the older ones, right? It's only natural you'd want someone younger sometimes. It's like the Guatemala Peaberry coffee. Its acidic sweetness is akin to a breath of fresh air. Sorry, we're serving a blend today. Hey, snap out of it. Hurry up and bring him the coffee before it gets cold. <gasps> Yo, here's your coffee. When in the world did she... Hey, <laughs> Futaba. Haven't I told you not to show up in front of people with that damn thing on? And... And be more polite when you're bringing something to a customer. Uh, here's your coffee, sir. Oh, thanks. Did you see? I did my job right! You did great. Huh, turns out this is pretty easy. I think Futaba go out and talk to a customer herself. Mask aside, I'm impressed. Looks like people really can change. So, do you want me to bring coffee to more customers? N mask off first. Oh, I'll think about it. Did anyone here share information about our real identities? Like hell we do that. Why the question? I overheard someone in the city saying there are acquaintance? Talk about false rumors, but hey, at least we're famous enough to have rumors about us. We might even break into the news online, or maybe TV. Yeah, if we get caught. Well, yeah. By the way, how did today go? I serve coffee to customers. 
She did good. That's great, Futaba chan. Anyways, you better get used to it fast. You can't be a phantom thief if you're scared of people. I'll try my best. We're on a roll. Futaba's been working really hard, and then there's Ryuji. It's like he doesn't have a care in the world. He's gonna get in trouble somewhere down the line if he keeps this up. Man. Mask decided and she really built up some confidence. Yeah, we'll go talk to Yoshida. Everyone. Poverty, poverty, working poor. Our country's jobs market is terrible. Depression and suicide are on the rise, and the young workforce is being crushed on a daily basis. The evil that permeates the corporate world has filtered down into society. It's quite hot. I'm sweating profusely. Be mm, ow. Be sure to drink plenty of water and stay hydrated. You don't want to get heat stroke. Yeah, we're gonna help him. There were cam cameras coming today. I don't feel good about that, Let's but I, I could be fine. Regardless, we will do as we have always done. The most important thing is acting on self-interest, but for the greater good. I... That is the mindset we politicians must instill in our constitutions. Okay, it's all queued up. Okay, we should be able to get a lot of interesting footage. It is no good tour, after all. Advocate an overly optimistic policy and only to lure in voters during the election season. That's how Nogatora thought and operated 20 years ago, making unachievable pledges. Hmm, this isn't how I saw this going. If you make a promise, you must keep it. If you make a mistake, you must atone for it. These are basic human principles that we all have- that we have all learned in the youngest of ages. Boring. He's making some pretty good points, don't you think? That's why it's all useless. <laughs> Seems like the they only wanted to get some footage of the old no good Tora. Very disrespectful. However, I've been distancing myself from that. Do you think I've regained my confidence? I think so. Well, I must have if you think so. However, I will never forget the disgrace I suffered as no good Tora. Hey. Can I tell you a story? I mentioned this before, but 20 years ago I was lucky enough to become a Diet member. However, I wanted to be a politician for all the wrong reasons. <sighs> I wanted to be in a position of power, and I was obsessed with the glamorous lifestyle. I thought only being popular... I thought only of being popular. I truly was no good tour. Hey. Learn from me. Don't let being a member of the Diet be your only goal in life. Voters are much more sensible than we give them credit for. Being ambitious and striving to advance in the political world will change your on outlook on life. Yoshida eagerly gave, gave me advice. I feel like my bond with him is growing deeper. All right. You've given some good speeches, Mr. Yoshida. I can't believe you lost the last two elections. Mm -hmm. You're Mr. Koromoto's grandson? That's correct. I'm his grandson, Benzo. Does he know you're here speaking with me now? I'm aware that you and my grandfather are on bad terms, but that doesn't concern me. This must be your secretary, huh? I heard he's been helping you out a lot lately. <laughs> what? You know about him? And grandfather was recently hospitalized, and you've become a topic of our conversations. I'd like to talk with you again sometime. I learned a lot from your speech today. Hmm. Mr. Kuramoto spoke of me? Mara Shitita? Sorry, I have to take care of some business. Let's wrap this up for today. I've increased my charm.
Well then, I'll see you again. He's so annoying. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take care of him. This would be awesome. Why don't we make a request on the forum? That Akechi is all talk, isn't he? Why is he so hostile toward the Phantom Thieves? Right? Some people just can't read the mood. Let's see, our plans for today are, huh? Do we not have any plans? We're probably about to. I'm out shopping with Dakota. We'll head over when we're done. Honestly, I wanted to bring Futaba along with us. We can't just take her into crowds like that, though. That'd be way too soon. Sometimes drastic measures are necessary. Such spiky words. You know you'll need to do this someday, right? Actually, Queen's clothes have lots of spikes, too. They probably pierce my hand if I touch them. I've honestly considered that possibility as well. Not you too, Yusuke. Hey, this sounds like fun. I want to join in. We're talking to Futaba. This doesn't involve you. Note, honest cold to Ryuji. Don't take notes on this. Anyway, look forward to us coming over. My heart's pounding. Hmm. Hmm. Just what are they scheming? I'm so curious who the Phantom Thieves really are. Miss, miss, you want to steal y your heart? Is that a pickup line? Don't make me laugh. Apparently they're even famous overseas, isn't that nuts? Wish I could join the Phantom Thieves. Today's the fourth day already. Getting a little better at dealing with other people? Uh, I don't know. Can't really tell. People cannot change their deep-seated habits that easily. Well, let's just say you've made some progress for now. No! Mm. Stop it! You're gonna blow my cheeks off! Man, those girls are late. What do they think they are making us wait like this? Hello. Please excuse us. Apologies for the lateness. We were looking at multiple items and weren't sure which to choose. Looking? Looking at what? A swimsuit, of course, for Futaba-chan. A swimsuit? You don't have one, do you? No, but... Okay, let's have you try it on right now, then. No, 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 now? <laughs> you can't go to the beach if you don't have a good-fitting swimsuit. We don't have much time left, you know. Uh, but, um... You know what'll happen if you try and look, right? <laughs> oh, wow, it's perfect! I'm amazed you were able to eyeball it with such accuracy, On. I know, right? There we go! It's on! What the? This barely covers anything! That's normal for a swimsuit. Now, we just need to push these a little more this way. Yeah! Push. Are you supposed to move them with that much force? You gotta put some oomph into this stuff. <laughs> there. Good to go. Whoa, even I'm impressed. I wonder what they're doing up there. They're having her try on the swimsuit, right? What else could they be doing? Futaba in his swimsuit, hmm? I suspect that would make a great painting. <laughs> Perhaps we should ask Makoto about it. You are such a perv. How rude. I speak <laughs> from a purely artistic standpoint. Let it go, okay? We should just stay put. You guys are such children. What's with all the ruckus upstairs? Something about a swimsuit? Yeah, we're going to the beach pretty soon, so they're trying some swimsuits out. Futaba's going to the beach. I didn't think I'd ever see her take that much interest in going outside again. Well then, it seems we're good to go with the swimsuit. All flattery aside, I think it looks really great. Now you just gotta get rid of those round shoulders. Come on, straighten out your back. Right. She might be some trouble, but I hope she can make some great memories with you guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
We've got swimsuits, we're totally ready to hit the beach. All that's left is for Futaba to prepare herself mentally. I can do this, I, th I think. Maybe. So you're not confident. Shut up, Minari. Ah, oh, it's finally starting to feel like summer vacation. Still have been thinking about some things now that matters have calmed down a little bit more. Like what? The psychotic breakdowns, cognitive science, and the one in the black mask. Wonder who they are. Do you think they're going for the same thing we are? That said, we don't have enough information right now. We'll need more to investigate. We'll need more to investigate. I'll help out too. Can we talk about this some other time? I'm so damn sleepy. Okay. Good night then. Futaba chan. Good luck tomorrow too. Nice. The chief has such high expectations for us. We need to work harder to help Futaba make some good memories. Hey, hey. I need more plant nutrients. Yes. Yep, we're coming for you, Kawakami. Hello, or you perhaps- mm. The voice on the phone wasn't Cloud County. You should ask for more details. Who is this? This is the head nurse at Ayo Ayoyama Hospital speaking on behalf of Kyle Kami san. Kyle Kami san actually collapsed and she's been admitted to our hospital. Do you know our hospital's address? Her room number is. Oh, interesting. I should have read her text then. <laughs> Jeez. I'm just a little overworked. Don't need to make a big deal out of it. <laughs> But thanks for coming all this way to visit me. Uh, how can I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? <laughs> there you are. What's going What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? Takis-san. You contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. When I thought you finally answered, it was the nurse who told us you were here. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse, but our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. I'm sorry. These are Takis Kuhn's guardians, the one I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Who's this? He's one of my students who came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? Tisk tisk. After all you did to him, I'm sorry. So where are you going to transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Don't pay them. Stay out of this. Don't act so tif tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son, uh, Taiki, died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Ugh. That's not... And yet, she still doesn't know her place, and she still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some, remor some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. So, it's not like we're trying to extort you. That's not true. But who was it that convinced uh, Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led him to that accident. Poor Taiki. It's almost like he was murdered. So you, you no longer feel regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, you your days as a teacher would be over. Well, we're looking forward to receiving your payment. <sighs> I have to figure a way to make more money. I guess transferring to our sister company is the only way. Think this through more. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna start worrying about it. The money? I'll pay it. I'll do everything Master tells me to do. Meow. I'm so tired. 
All I really want is a way to apologize to Tiki's Coon. So if his guardians demand money, then I just have to pay them. Isn't there another way? Sorry, I'm not quite, quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It really made me happy. I feel like she's starting to depend on me. All right. I'll re release first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here work really well. Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later then. So what should we do today? Let's see. Want to eat together? You know, like how we had Hot Pot that one time. That may be a good idea. It'll be a great way to strengthen our intra-squad friendships. I, I can do that. Okay, I'll take a cola and an omelet with rice. Oh, and make that a large, please. <laughs> I'd like the same. Can you eat all that? Of course I can. There is no doubt in my mind. Dude, you're missing the point here. We're supposed to be helping Futaba, not stuffing our faces. I want the same. Extra large. <laughs> uh, I ate loads. Damn, Futaba, I'm impressed. Indeed, your appetite is quite nice to see. I much prefer that to women who don't eat a lot. You better not be hitting on me. How rude. <laughs> Sojiro, help me! Will you stop that? <laughs> so does this mean our training's going good? I think so. Let's go with that then. Hey, let me make you guys some after meal coffee. It's on me. Thank you. I want iced cocoa! You can't handle bitter stuff either, right? Iced cocoa sound good? Yeah, definitely. Extra cold, please. I don't think we've ever had a lunch this lively. Mm -hmm. It's lots of fun. Oh. Hey, what do you think we should do about this beach strip? Does it look like she can go soon? Well, she has started to talk a lot more. She's made a great deal of progress compared to how she was at the beginning. Thoughts, Futaba? Will you be able to do this tomorrow perhaps tomorrow that's too soon i want to prepare myself what is good for you i should be good if it's the day after tomorrow i think we'll go the day after tomorrow then just let us know if you aren't up for it Futaba, okay <laughs> sorry looks like we know when we'll actually finish up now the beach is finally within reach the real question to Okay. We made it this far. Let's see how tomorrow goes. Oh, hi, Ketchy. But we can talk it to a Ketchy later. We still got I we still gotta power through with the teacher. Oh Yes, Kawakami. Hi. Yes. Hey. Head over right now. Hey, hey. I actually really like the antique feel of this room. But I have to say goodbye to it today. Um The thing is I decided to quit. My boss found me a part time job that pays better than this one. Techies Coons Guardians keep increasing their demands, so this is just what I have to do. Is this really what you want? What I want? Techies Coon's guardians say the only true way to apologize to Techies Coon is by paying them. If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? What if I can escape all of it I quit being a teacher? People like me have no right being a teacher. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's when, That's why I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? Hmm. 
Hmm. I need my future. <laughs> you always seem to make things about you. But I can only follow my own path like you do. Now that I think about it, it's, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. I really felt bad for what happened. I would have resigned the day he died. And yet, I still felt the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. That's your answer. Oh, that's right. I decided the way to apologize to him was to make sure there won't ever be another student like him. Because I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been afraid of rumors on or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. But now I spend all my free time at part-time jobs just so I can continue working as a teacher. Put the critical work of a teacher on the back burner so I could make apology money. That's where it all went wrong. I can't make things right with Techies tune like this. Mistakes can be fixed. I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends to Tiki's Coon. From here on, I refuse to pay them any more money. And that is my answer. Well, what do you think? Be confident in your answer. You're right. You can't get the right answer from someone else. It can only be found from within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. I feel her trust strengthening. been so worried about making money that I haven't been paying attention to my students, especially to you. I've averted my eyes from you just because you were labeled just like the key spoon was. But from now on, I'm going to protect you too. As your teacher, I will never betray you. I want to protect you. That kind of line only works in someone old enough to handle his own household chores. But thanks. I'll speak with the keys. Is I'm not going to run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. Alright, it's time for me to go. Thank you. See you later. So how right. am I going to get these last two ranks then if she's quitting her job? Um, thank you, for, thank you for today. Oh wait, I was supposed to stop working as Becky by today. To be honest, I always kind of know in my heart I couldn't go on like this forever. And I felt so stuck facing it alone. And thank you, thanks to you that I actually figured out what I need to do. You're welcome. <laughs> You're a sweet kid. I haven't really recognized all you've done, so thank you, really. Go to bed early night. Lack of sleep is basically poison for your body and mind, okay? Good night. Okay. Just one more day to go. Tomorrow we hit the beach. Hey, are you up there? Sorry, but I need you to help with the dishes. Help with the dishes! Is Futaba here too? Well, the faster we get started, the faster we'll finish. Want anything, Futaba? Orange juice. 100% natural. That reminds me. You're going to the beach tomorrow, yeah? Go have fun. And make up for the fireworks. Just try not to cut loose too much. Fireworks? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know. He tried to go to a firework festival, but it got rained out. Not only did he get crushed in the crowd, but he came home looking like some kind of drowned rat. <laughs> fireworks, huh? Hello. Oh, mm. welcome. Catchy. Oh, you're... Huh? You know each other? Wait, aren't you... I'm Akechi. Oh yeah, the one on TV and stuff. So what brings you here, Mr. Detective? This place is more than I imagined it to be. The atmosphere is wonderful. No wonder Sai san recommended it so strongly to me. <sighs> I already told her everything I know. There's nothing more I've got for you people. Oh, no, that's not my intention. I just came to enjoy some coffee. Oh. And she is? Oh, you must be Wakaba Ishiki's... Uh, 
What'll it be? I'll have whatever you recommend. Coming right up. Huh. It seems I'm unwelcome no matter where I go. Hmm. That's surprising. Did I bother you? My apologies. Apparently, my mother was in a relationship with some lowlife of a man. She was swiftly discarded when he learned she was pregnant. That despair would lead to her death. Thanks to him, I was passed from foster home to foster home. But I do quite well by myself these days. Hmm. Mm. Why is he suddenly telling a sob ah, story? Yes, Mejed. To think they'd be taken down by another hacker. I'm not sure whether Mejed was defeated by the Phantom Thieves themselves, or an avid supporter. Um, you're Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. Many kids your age seem to be fans of the Phantom Thieves. Do you like them too? Hmm. What's the matter? You're popular too, Ace Detective Akechi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Although I'd rather not be compared to people like the Phantom Thieves, if at all possible. Hmm. Hmm. This is delicious. You get to drink this coffee every day? I'm incredibly jealous. I would never have thought you'd be boarding at this cafe. We seem to share some kind of bond. I agree. <laughs> Thank you. I believe that fate brings people together. It's strange, but talking to you is thought-provoking. Well, I think I found my go-to cafe. So I think Akechi joins the group at some point. You know Akechi, that annoying dude? I always change the channel when I see him. <laughs> oh, all he ever does is nitpick. There's no way the Phantom Thieves are bad guys. He's so desperate, it's kind of lame. Come out right now. I'm outside LeBlanc. Fireworks, can we? I bought some. Uh. You went by yourself? Mm hmm. I ran into Mona on the way back, though. I'll go get Sojiro. I was worried, so I decided to follow her. She was able to buy everything on her own, though. If she can do that, she should be good to go. Plus, she did a great job dodging that ace detective. It's true. Sojiro, hurry, hurry! We're gonna have a firework festival! Oh, hold on, Futaba. I, I haven't even put up my cigarette <laughs> yet. <laughs> <laughs> They're just doing this now, are they? Don't get the smoke on me! Super double move! Whee! Will you listen to... <laughs> hey, the, the cat doesn't like the smoke. Keep the flames away from him. <laughs> Dang! I made a huge one! Sojiro, look! Look! Right. It's just be careful, okay? Memories of summer, huh? Okie dokie. I'm gonna do ten now! <laughs> God. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Morgana. Uh, does she think of some kind of toy? Alright, we're going to the beach tomorrow. We've been anticipating this for so long. We'll be entrusting care of Futaba to you. Alright. I'll be good on my own, you know. I only ask that you try not to get separated from each other in the crowd, okay? No worries. I already made preparations for when that happens. That doesn't make me feel make better. Make sure you keep an eye on her. It's tough enough going solo, let alone watching over someone else. Still... Going to enjoy the beach. We can finally have a good time. So anyways, what I was saying is, is that I think Akechi eventually does join the group. But... I... I don't know how. 
and I don't know why. Like, he's working with the police right now. Um, I'm gonna talk to you in a second, but I want to see if I can talk to anybody about the Mementos people now that we've... Oh. Akechi Kun's been getting a lot of haters. Some people have left him for the Phantom Thieves. He must be hurting so much inside. I wish you could cheer him up, my dear Akechi. My Akechi Kun, my ass. You play Gugu Goo Eye. Goo your Gugu Goo Goo Eyes don't really pair with your 5 o'clock shadow. And you've got some nose hairs you need to get under control. Okay. Um, is this really supposed to be the Phantom Thieves cosplay? It looks like lingerie. Making my dream, our dream, come true is a heavy burden. I wasn't able to shoulder that. Yeah, you're right, Mr. A Asakura. You gotta work hard for both of us. Okay, I'll do it. They said the bars is where I was supposed to be looking? Hmm. Oh! I just don't know how I'm supposed to unlock these mementos things. <sighs> but I guess I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. Let's okay, where's the next place? No. Okay, so they wanna go to the shrine, I think. Or the church. What do you do? talk to them again later, but... Okay, let's talk to you again. I'm gonna hurry. Yeah, he still doesn't offer me any information. Um, there's not a whole lot to read because our bond's not going to grow with her yet, so. Utaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. <laughs> I won't leave her aside. Good. As long as you understand. I'll be counting on you. Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two.
So don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch too? I'll go get some stuff for us then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. <laughs> this should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Um, not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? <laughs> Keep an eye on our stuff. Hell no! Why you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's <laughs> heart at all. But, Lady On... Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry! We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Banana! Banana! <laughs> uh, the sand's wet! It's dangerous if you run around like that. Here it. I don't get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? You're full of yourself. <laughs> no, we're special. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, <laughs> you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, you gotta steal, you know what? Hearts? made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind!
<laughs> They're not doing a very good job, are they? <sighs> I don't know. The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Feel better. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't oh, we? Oh, it's the um, drag queens. You? The oh, gay guys. No. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing here? Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go. Sorry. Was it something I said? No. Oh, <laughs> what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. <laughs> No, no more makeovers. <laughs> no. By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Oh. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? <laughs> While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on Why them. Why does Yusuke never have any money? Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Yusuke and his lobster adventures. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you like what you saw, please feel free to hit the subscribe button here on YouTube or also follow me or go follow me on Twitch, uh, where I do live streams of other games as well. Also, feel free to follow me on my social media platforms, which is Twitter, and join the Discord. All the links to those things will be in the description below. You can also check out other past videos I've done, other past uh, Persona 5 videos, or other games here on YouTube. And then there's a whole lot more over on Twitch that I'm slowly kind of integrating over um, here to YouTube. Uh, here in the future, we'll get back on into the fighting sequences here for Persona 5. Uh, we'll soon, hopefully, in the next episode or so, get another palace uh, that we will get back to and learn more about our heroes. And with that, I hope y'all have a wonderful morning, noon, or evening, depending on where y'all are, and I will catch y'all next time.